Hi everybody! So today we're going to do a video on the NBHA 2021 Open and Senior World Entries. Entries open May 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So we're going to give you a little look into what the entries look like to help you navigate your way through it. First and foremost, we just want to say thank you for your interest in entering the World Finals and we are excited to have you. So the first thing that I'm going to do to start my entry is go to saddlebook.com and then I'm going to sign in. Once I sign in, it's going to bring me to this page, which is my saddle dash. So to get back to the event, I'm going to go to the saddlebook homepage by tapping on saddlebook. And then I can either tap on events or barrel racing. Now once inside of here, I can either scroll down to find my event or if I type in NBHA, any event with NBHA in the title is going to come up. I'm going to scroll through and find it. Now I'm going to tap on the name to bring it up. So this will take us to the event. And here we see the description. It goes through rules and regulations and a lot of other information that you will need. This same information can also be found on the NBHA official website, nbha.com. On May 1st, when entries open, you'll have a little green online entry button that will be right here where my cursor is. So you can go ahead and tap on that to start your entry. Notice here it also says draws pending. So leading up to when we do the draw, you'll be able to see everyone who has entered in the event and which classes they've entered in. Once the draw is published, you can access it here as well. You can also access the time only schedule here. And please note that time only so can only be purchased through Saddlebook, so make sure to get those when you're doing your entry. So now I'm going to show you what the entry form looks like. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is choose the writer that you would like to do the entry for. If you're doing an entry for a child or a grandchild and they're not on this list yet, if you go up to your Saddle Dash, scroll down to People and tap on New Person, you can add them there and then they'll show up in this list of writers for you to choose from. So I have myself selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. So here you'll start by selecting your horses. You can either select a name out of the list that you already have or you can add a new horse name here. We just ask that you please provide the full registered name for your horse or the barn name if it is a great horse. Please refrain from giving any nicknames or fake horse names. That is greatly appreciated. We will need real horse names for the draw, so please keep that in mind. So I'm going to start by selecting one horse at a time. I'm going to do Cash Me Out. And then notice these classes here that are highlighted in red. I can see these because I am an admin, but if your age does not match the specifications, they won't show up for you. So if you think that you should be seeing classes that you're not, make sure that you go and double check your date of birth on your profile and saddle book to make sure that it is correct. So I'm going to choose the sweepstakes and the open world finals. I'm going to put in my membership number everywhere it asks for it. And then make sure that you check out this section here. This is for draw preferences for your first go and it is per horse. So the first go will be starting Monday and finishing up on Tuesday. There are a select number of preferences available, so early entries get to voice which day they would like to run on. Again, it is not a guarantee, but we will do our best. So I'm going to choose Monday, and then I'm going to select some side pots. Notice how the youth side pot isn't an option for me, and that's because my age doesn't match. So again, if you think that you should be able to enter this side pot, make sure that you double check your date of birth and your saddlebook profile. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and add one more horse. Let's do racing for the money. Scroll down. I'm going to do the sweepstakes as well. Open world finals. Let's do Tuesday for this horse. And then again, I'm going to put in my member number. And now that I have both of my horses entered, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. 
So now this page brings us to all of our other items. We have our souvenir packages, which are available one per contestant. It will have a replicate of your back number as a felt back number, which you can wear or keep as commemorative. It will also have a shirt with all of the contestants' names on it, as well as a program. And then we have a purely commemorative souvenir package that's unlimited. It comes with a shirt, program, and a sticker, which you could put on your trailer or what have you. Don't worry about the mail-in processing fee. That's an admin only. So next we have our stalls, and you can purchase as many as you'd like. The best way to do this if you're looking to be grouped together is to have one person to buy all of your stalls and then just mention in the note who is going to be stalling with you. Um, but if you can't do it that way, then just make sure that you come up with a team name or the name of the person that you want to be stalling with and how many stalls total there will be between your group. So let's say that I'm going to purchase four stalls and my friend Mindy is also purchasing four stalls. I would make a note of please stall next to Mindy Smith, eight stalls total. And then she would say the same thing just with my name. Um, another easy way to do it so that we can find this easily is have a team name. So maybe team awesome. That way we can see these notes and we can um, do our best to make sure that everybody is grouped where they want to be. Now let's say that you're local and you won't be staying on site or purchasing stalls. We do ask that you purchase a Holland fee and this is per horse. So let's say that you're bringing two horses to ride but one horse for fun. Um, we ask that you pay for each of those horses, so that would be three horses total. So finally, we have our exhibitions, which are two per horse, which is why you needed to put in your horse names earlier in your entry. So you can do, um, you can spread them out however you'd like. You can do multiple, but once you hit four, it'll cap you out, so you won't be able to add any more. You can remove them by tapping on the little negative and then go down and find the other time slots that you would like. Once you've hit your max, you can go ahead and move on by tapping next. And I'm actually gonna go back real quick. I'm gonna tap the previous button. Um, just a side note on the exhibitions, they will sell out, so just make sure that you get them early. Um, so now I'm gonna tap next and I'm ready to check out. Um, Credit card and payment plan will be the only options that show for you. These other options are admin only. So if you would like to pay for your entry in full, you would just tap on credit card and put in your credit card number. Then you will need to acknowledge these agreements. There's the exhibition limit agreement, which is two exhibitions per horse, and then the GNFA waiver. We ask that you open these and read them and then accept. and then you can submit your credit card. If you would like to do the payment plan, this splits your payments into three equal payments. You'll pay one third today, one third in four weeks from today, and then another, the remaining one third in the additional four weeks from there. Just note with the payment plan, you need to have everything in here that you'd like for your entry. If you go in in the future and add additional items or classes, it will charge the full amount that is due. So please make sure that everything is in there if you're going to do the payment plan. So you can access your entry anytime by going up to your saddle dash and then associations, find NBHA, and then you can just tap on your name here to pull up your entry. So that's just a little insider. We hope that this helps with your preparation for entries opening May 1st, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And we truly look forward to seeing you all at the Worlds in October in Perry. Thanks.